guys, it's Emma, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, but something I've been wanting to do for actually months, and that is a 24-hour read-along. I am trying this a little late, because I don't know if you can tell, but it is almost 1 o'clock, so I'm going to start reading at 1. But I had to take a shower, so ignore my hair, and I'm um, doing some other things this morning, so now we're ready to read. So here is my... TBR for the next 24 hours. I don't know. I just wanted to have a few different options and like different genres that I could read from. So here they are. So I'm gonna go through them one by one. So first is what I'm actually currently reading and I'm a little less than halfway through and that is The Forest Queen by Betsy Cornwell. And this is a Robin Hood retelling that involves a 16 year old girl named Sylvie who is like the lady of this town of Woodshire, but she's constantly been tormented by her brother John. And once her father gets ill, John sort of takes on a bigger role in the community and is now made sheriff. And he promises her to a man who is four years old. Um, and this is like all on the inside, I promise you. So she runs away into the woods with a young huntsman who's her best friend named Bird and a girl named Little Jane. And it's sort of about them, you know, getting into the forest. And then also, since it's a Robin Hood retelling, I'm assuming that they're gonna go against John. I don't know, I haven't gotten there yet, so that's my understanding of the Forest Queen. And then after I finish that, I don't really know what I want to read, so I have some different options depending on how I'm feeling. The first don't judge me, being Dear John by Nicholas Sparks. Nicholas Sparks is one of my favorite romance writers, hence how, except for this, he has an entire shelf. So, um, Dear John, I actually read for the first time like four or five years ago, uh, probably around when the movie came out, and I watched the movie then too, but I haven't read or watched it since, so I kind of forget everything that happened. So I have been wanting to pick this up, but I normally read these in the summer, but I thought since the other books that I have are kind of like heavy or like fantasy and stuff, that this might be a good option. Next we have A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray, and this is a historical fiction I think, or Something like that. I don't know. I read The Diviners uh, over the summer by Libba Bray and I enjoyed it, but I found it to be a little long and like unnecessarily long. So I'm hoping I'll like this better because it is shorter. It is like a little less than 400 pages. Or no, around 400 pages. So yeah, this is about a girl named Gemma Doyle who is um, 16 years old and is sent to the Spence Alchemy in London. Um, and she has some powers to attract the supernatural. I really don't know anything about this book. I don't really want to. That's sort of how I like to go into most books, but yeah. I don't know. I've heard mixed things about this, but it still has like a high three on Goodreads, so this is an option. Next is a book that I've been wanting to read for months, and I got this recently so I really wanted to read it and that is The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. So again I don't know what this is about so give me a sec. So this is about two people named Vika and Nikolai who are enchanters and they're the only two in Russia because I knew this was a Russian inspired fantasy. Um, but Vika can summon the snow and turn ash to gold and Nikolai can see through walls and conjure bridges out of thin air. I don't know. Those are interesting powers, so I don't know. I've heard nothing but good things about this book, so I really want to read it. <laughs> um, and the last one that I'm actually going to throw in here, I didn't put it in that first page, but I've been thinking about it over the time of reading this, um, and that is Pathfinder by Pathfinder by Orson Scott Carr, Card. Um, but I found this randomly at a used bookstore uh, the other week and I looked it up on Goodreads and it had like a 4.2 um, so I was really surprised because I've never heard of this but 
since then I've really wanted to read it because Goodreads it's like really hard to get a 4.2 like that's a really good rating so I literally don't even remember what the book this is about either so it's about this guy named Rig and his he has a strange talent for seeing the paths of people's past and his father dies and then some stuff goes down like I said, don't really know anything about most of these books, but yeah, this one is a little bit of a beast, which is why I wasn't going to include it because it's about a little less than 700 pages. But even if I don't read it in this readathon, I will get to this soon for sure. Okay, so those are all the books that I am thinking about reading. And uh, this is like, oh, that's one of three. Oh well. But yeah, so I'm going to continue to read The Forest Queen and I'll uh, update you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so it's now about 3 o'clock and I just finished The Forest Queen by Betsy Cornwell and I'm kind of conflicted about this book. I'm between a 3 and a 4 but I landed on a 3.5 I think for Goodreads but I was reading the reviews and they kind of like made me second guess myself I guess a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys have that issue where you look at other reviews and they see something that you didn't and then you're like... I, it kind of changes the way that you look at a book. But I still think this was a really good retelling. There are trigger warnings for suicide, rape, uh, slash sexual assaults, um, and the killing of animals, but I don't, that's hunting, so I don't really know. But you know what I mean. So, yeah, I'm conflicted, but um, I'll come back to this one maybe at the end when I do my wrap-up, and we'll see if I have more determined feelings. I don't know what I'm saying. Um... So, next, out of our stack of books, um, I think I'm gonna go with The Crowns Game by Evelyn Skye. Um, I just am in the fantasy mood. I love fantasy. And, uh, yeah, this just seems like a good one. It is 399 pages, so it's the smaller of the two fantasies that I have on my list. But I did just read, like, 150 or something of this and had a snack in like two hours so I think it's feasible for me to finish this in the next few hours I shit myself in the face in the next few hours and uh, yeah I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit on Hey guys, so it is now almost 6.30 and uh, I haven't gotten as much reading done as I hoped. I did take a little break to watch a little gymnastics for like a half an hour and I had some dinner, some Chinese food, but now I have been reading more of The Crowns Game and look how pretty it is. I love this like yellow color. I am on page 139, so I'm at like 30 something percent. And yeah, I mean, I'm liking it. It's just a very slow burn story. Like, I'm kind of having to force myself to read faster, which I don't really like to do, but it's just, yeah, it's taken a long time. But I really want to finish this. I don't know how likely that's going to be. But yeah, I think I'm going to keep working on the Crimes game and then. Um, just it's because this is taking so long, I kind of want to read something that I think is going to be quick next. So I think after I read for another few hours of this, I'm probably going to switch to Dear John by Nicholas Sparks because I know this will be a nice quick read because it's like around 300 pages. Yeah, it's like 330 something. So I know it's going to be a nice quick read. I know the story, so... Or, not really, but, you know what I mean? Like, and it's like smaller pages. I don't know. I think I can get through this in a few hours. 
tonight, which will also be nice because I like watching romantic things before I go to bed because I have really severe anxiety and that's just one of my coping mechanisms because then I think of nice fluffy things instead of crippling things. <laughs> but yeah, so I think that's my plan. Like I said, I'm really hoping to get some more pages in. But yeah, so I think I'm just gonna power through a little more of the Crowns game. Now I'm hoping that since we're actually in the, the Crowns game, it'll be more entertaining and stuff. But also these names are so hard. Like, I'm I'm sorry, like I don't speak Russian. I don't know these names. But like okay, Yuliana's not really a good example, but like Pavel Alexandrovich Romanov. Like, there's more names like that, and all of the Russian is just, like, I kind of, I don't, like, read out loud half the time, but, like, sometimes I'll, like, try to say words to, like, understand what I'm reading, and this is proving difficult. So that's just another aspect, which I think is slowing me down a little bit. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so this book <laughs> was an emotional roller coaster at the end. Like, I don't really know what happened, but, like, in the last 150 pages book, like, we went from, like, going, like, a little bit slow at a time, like, building the story to, like, oh, we only have a few pages left, let's shove everything in it. Um, I'm still conflicted about how I feel. I really want to love this book. I really want to. But, <sighs> there wasn't a happy ending. Which, not that there needs to be a happy ending in every book, but, like, I really was hoping that there would be. Uh, and there kind of was, but, you know, it's... I just have a lot of the feels right now, and I don't really know what to do. So, I'm gonna take a quick break and probably watch a little bit of YouTube. It is 10.30, so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to stay up. But I know I don't have work tomorrow because my mom had to call out for a medical appointment so I know I have tomorrow off to read and tonight so I'm gonna pick up Dear John after I finish that and try to finish this maybe before I go to bed or get you know at least halfway through and then tomorrow I'll pick up probably a great and terrible beauty because I only have until one o'clock but I might also pick up Pathfinder because it just looks so good. Now in 2018, I read 234 books, so it was very hard to narrow down my top 10, but I did it and I will link that video up above. Hey guys, so it is now the next day, Wednesday, and it is 9.17 in the morning. I ended up sleeping in later than I usually do today, so I didn't get up until like 8, which meant that I ate breakfast and watched a little YouTube to wake up, so I didn't get to start reading until 8 30 but yeah last night I f ended up falling asleep at like 11 so I got like 15 pages in a dear John but now this morning I've gotten to page 55 and I am enjoying it but then I realized this is not one of the like the happy-go-lucky like book I was hoping for and like romantic smut but you know we're getting there um this is also taking me longer than I was expecting but you know it's fine. I feel like I don't read as fast early in the morning. I don't know. I feel like I'm still waking up. But yeah, so I think I still have four hours left of this readathon, or a little less than that now. So I'm going to keep reading this. I'll probably finish this and then maybe start another book. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, so I'm going to keep reading this. Hey guys, so it's just about 2 o'clock now and I just needed to take some time um, because I'm f so tired. <laughs> so I ended up finishing three books in 24 hours, which I mean I think is pretty good, but I was also really hoping to get started with a fourth book, but you know, it's fine and technically I was already like a good way through this, but you know, we're gonna count it as three books. We did three books. So um, I'm just gonna quickly go through and wrap them all up. So the first thing that I read was The Forest Queen by Betsy Cornwell. I'm still conflicted about this. Um, it's sitting at around maybe a three. 
I don't know, there's still some elements that just, I don't know if I can get over. But like I said, it was like a four until I read some reviews. So I still think people should read it because I did enjoy it, it but like, yeah, I don't know. Do some more research for yourself on Goodreads if you want to understand what I'm saying. The next book I read was The Crowns Game by Evelyn Skye, and I think I'm gonna give this a three star. Um, just because it was really slow to get into it, like, and then the last bit ended up like being really like hurried. So I feel like if it was more consistent throughout, it wouldn't have had those like drastic changes. But I did enjoy like what happened in it. I just felt like it was like a little, it was missing something, I don't know. Like I was really hoping for a lot and I feel like it just, I don't know if the hype was just so high on this book that I was just like expecting it to be a five star or at least a four star, but I think it's more like a three. I don't know, maybe I'll change my mind about it. I haven't put any good reads for like any of these books, I don't think, because sometimes I like to give myself a few days to think about them. And lastly, what I just finished, which is Dear John by Nicholas Sparks. And y'all, this was an emotional roller coaster. Um, I did like part, like the book used um, letters between the two main characters, which I really enjoyed. Um, and I like that you could see the character's growth, but there was just some things in here that were like, I mean, they were the common things with Nicholas Sparks that are sort of problematic, but like also kind of, I may feel like maybe a little bit realistic, but I don't really know because I'm clearly not married in 30, so I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there's problematic, problematic elements but again, that's what I've come to expect with a Nicholas Sparks. And I also feel like I'm becoming more of a critical reader. So when I was first reading all of these, I didn't really notice that as much. But yeah, I still think it was really good. And I'm probably going to end up giving it three or something stars. I don't know. And also when it comes to like romance like this, like I don't know if I'm as critical as like as a fantasy you know like a fantasy I expect more out of compared to like a romance oh my gosh the size comparison but yeah so that's all that I read in this 24 hour readathon this was actually pretty fun but like really exhausting so I don't know how people do this all the time but please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and leave any recommendations for videos in the comments below and any books that you would like me to read and review because I'm always looking for more recommendations and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!